Okay, got them this time. Got one. Boom. The clout worm in there. Oh, that's what I heard. Oh, he is good to go. All right, Spanx. Well, Big Bass Pond was kind of a bust, so I'm over here at this uh, kind of kind of double pond deal. It used to connect by a stream, but dried up. Big Bass Pond was a bust, so figured I'd come somewhere. I've never really caught fish and try to spank some bass. Fished here once on YouTube, but uh, didn't catch anything. Missed the nice bass on the uh, frog rod fishing challenge I did back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like eight months ago. See if we can do anything here. Throw the worm around. See if I can get anything to eat my worm. All right, Spanx, let's uh, give it a whirl. There was a bass up here in the shallows when I uh, when I first got here. Might be a good sign. Might need to take my weight off here. Yeah, I'll most likely be taking this weight off. It's gonna be collecting all kinds of wheats. I don't wanna be pulling wheats. I wanna be able to pull it through the wheats. Try tossing over here. See, over here I might need the weight tossing into the wind. It's the only reason I'm hesitant to take it off. Crap, almost fell on my ass into the mud. Would've looked like I shit my drawers. I feel like I'd be better off without the weight. There's a fish busting over here on the shoreline. I'm gonna cast at him from way back here. Oh, that's something. Mm, fucking dog shit. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm getting hit. This bass is like, what is this idiot doing? <laughs> Trying to decide which pond I want to walk around. It looks like I can walk around both of them if I want to. Probably walk around this one, it's bigger. Got me muck boots. Could make an afternoon of it. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure. Oh nope, it's there. Let's toss this weight in here so it doesn't get low. It's that expensive Titan tungsten weight. Seen swirls over here. You want to be difficult. I'm gonna fish off this point. Dead's right there. This fish probably already spawned. It's a pretty shallow pond. It's been pretty warm for the last month, so it might have spawned in here. Well, damn, that looks like a dam. I hope not. I don't know if beavers will like attack. I'm guessing they will. I mean, why wouldn't they, right? I don't want to get attacked by a killer beaver. Ooh, look, a bed. Let's see if there's any bass sleeping on it. Little baby bass has it by the tail. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Tell your grandmother to come holler at me, though. All right, let's do this. Let's see what some little naughty little bassy boys around this dam here. Little shits, but are they a fish? I had one eat trying to eat my line when the battery died. Got one. Got one. Oh, he came off, I think. Yep, he sure freaking did. Oh, son of a biscuit. Oh, got another hit, got another hit, got another hit, hit, hit. Come on, eat it, eat it. It's good for you, it's high in protein, so just eat the wormy doodle. No? Okay, got him this time. Got him this time, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over here, boy. Get over here, boy. Aw, oh, it's a pickerel, dang it. <laughs> of course. Don't bite me. No. No. Hey. Cut it out. See? 
Look, okay, come on. There you go. Why would you fight? I'm trying to let you go. Got one. Got one. Well, that's a bass. That is a nice bass. It's a nice bass. Alright, let me get him back in there. He's bleeding pretty dang good. Well, hopefully he'll be okay. Ooh, that don't look good. Well, we'll see what happens. I can't even remember the last time if I've even ever had a bass die on me. This one looking like it might be the first. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, Bessie boy. Don't forget these fucking pliers. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that fish to hit this whopper plopper because I want my damn worm back and I don't want him with it stuck in his throat. Just got broken off by something big. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna have to assume it was a pickerel. I don't think a bass would just snap me off like that. Unless there's a log out there. I don't know. That thing was peeling out drag though. It was probably a huge pickerel. Oh, hey, is it okay? Trust me, I'm more scared of you than you are of me. That's what ate my dang worm. An otter, beaver, whatever the hell that is. What is that, dude? Walking my way back. Go back to the other point. It's the only other spot on the pond that's been productive. boy this one's hooked a little bit better tiny little dude at least this one didn't swallow it oh there he goes little oh, dude do better than nothing now little guy in the clout. Big perch, yeah, that is a biggie perch. And he's, he's snagged. Uh -huh. Oh wow, nice perch on the quilt worm. Ooh, this one's scarred up like that pickerel I caught earlier. Oh, hey. <laughs> Run away, brother. You wanna go right away. Ends up being a pretty good day of fishing.
Oh, that's what I heard. Could hear that rain coming from a mile away, boy. Dang. Okay. Where you come from? Little out of nowhere. I knew I heard it though. Are they fucking duck hunting out here, dude? There's fucking shotgun shells everywhere. Maybe try a couple casts in this pond. one huh. once again freaking inhaled it Bubba. let me get this hook out of you please I do not need another bass on my conscience tonight <laughs> all right no blood boom nice one it's good that is a good bass guys for this little pond it is not a bad one. All right, Spank is back in the trout cave two months later. You can see why I wasn't in a huge rush to make this video. I mean, as a catch and release angler, it's always a huge bummer to kill a bass that you're trying to release. Um, unfortunately, it is something that happens not very often, but does happen sometimes, especially if you're fishing a rubber worm and a Texas rig. Sometimes they just swallow the hook too far and they bleed from the throat and unfortunately don't make it. So yeah, not exactly a huge excitement to make a video with a dead bass in it. I mean, I wasn't trying to hide it from you guys. Two months ago, I was fishing at the canal, so I also had some more interesting content to give you than, you know, just killing a two pound bass and catching a couple of other small ones. But looking back on it, really not too bad of a day of bass fishing aside from, you know, killing a bass and breaking off to a bass or a beaver or a big old pickerel or whatever the heck that was. Fished a double pond that I've never made a full video at for the YouTubes, so that was cool. Just catching them on the six cents clout one and green pumpkin juice. Pretty good color for fishing small ponds. Hope to see you on the next one. Hopefully don't kill any fish in the next one. Keep on spanking them.